Alright, what's going on guys? Um, just cleaning some games this morning. I get a few here. I'm just working on Battle Chess, Bomberman. I just cleaned up Bomberman 2. Getting them up in the shelf there and uh, Robo Demons. Now, I've got a stack of about 30 games that I'm, uh, I've got to get them. I think they're all polished. And 30 games from A, you know, down to Z. I don't know how many of what letters I have, but it's pretty much going to fill up my shelf all the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all polished, though. And I just need to do some like detailing on the outside. I take the Q-tip. I've been taking the Q-tip and the Windex, and just getting around, you know, where you the grip pads, the finger grips, and around the little cracks and the clips and stuff. So I'm thinking it's probably gonna fill this up. I might have to add another shelf or or something. Don't know what I'm gonna do though. But I do definitely here in the next week or so want to get all those games finished cleaned up and then bagged and put up in the shelves there as you can see there's a little space but I've added it up and I don't think they're all gonna fit but hmm. I got games in the back back there in little cases and stuff too so not all my games are up there I don't know. I uh, picked up my Genesis from over my parents house and brought it over here and I got the high definition one there with the AV cables going in the front I wanted to check out this storm grinder or this grind, <laughs> storm grinder, grind stormer I wanted to see why this game was going for as much as it was and I was actually pretty impressed with it it's a tension game known as a VV Got bombs, put power ups. They can uh, put power ups to change your options, and then you, there's power ups that can uh, increase fire power. up here. It's got a lot of options in this game. Um, a lot of customizable stuff. And then there's a, another game involved in it too called V5. Or VV. So, trigger for options. And then you play Grind Swimmer or V5. V5, you collect uh, power-ups similar to um, Life or Salamander, uh, and it kind of jumps up. Instead of the bombs, you have the list of your power ups, and you collect little items that jump, you know, that move your selection as you collect them until you get to pick what you want as far as your um, power ups go. It's kind of nice. And then there's some you know, good selections for. The difficulty, that's always nice. You can change things a little bit. Not too much, though. There's a training mode, I believe, uh, where it lets you select the stage that you want to play, but then it ends after that stage. You can take off the pause. Of course, my favorite sound tests. I I like some games, some shoot 'em ups um, that don't have sound tests because then it's like you're really working for that song to hear that song in the game, and that's how I felt about a lot of these songs and shoot 'em ups that I've played in my life, especially Life Force. Uh, you know, it's like. There could be a sound test, but then if I want to hear that song again, you know, I can either just pop in the game and play it, or I actually have to be challenged and play the game again to get to that level to hear that song. 
I, I really enjoy it. I'm a bit of an audiophile with these games. I mean, the songs mean as much to me as the games. Yep. Fire button, you can adjust your When you get when you die and it goes to that screen with the bird on it. There's, you can hear a little bit of music in the background, like some reverb going on. That's a great song. Kind of interesting. It's very subtle. It's fairly good. You know something's there. It's not too tough for to the hardest difficulty setting, in my opinion, but I believe I put it on very hard. I never got into the bullet storm games, but some of these uh, shoot em up skin as hairy as they can get as hairy as some of those bullet storm games. Or the bullet hell. I'm going to update my NES list and see where I'm at with that. I'm pretty sure I'm only down to about 150 more games and then I'll have uh, my NTSC collection complete. So, Alright guys, I'll just give you an update on what's going on there. Show you a little bit of that game in case you guys are interested in you know, what it is, what it is. And 30 plus dollars or more just for the cart on uh, eBay alone. And then complete, you know, CIBs like these, like this one. You know, I don't know, probably just one on one. So, definitely a cool find, and uh, from the first shooting ups I have the Genesis, so it's actually kind of bringing the Genesis to life for me. So, I guess. Okay, so later. Peace.